What is up you guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're starting off this video in my brother's GT350R and we got some fun plans for today. I'm actually on my way to my brother's shop right now to pick up his truck and trailer because we're going to be going to Stockton, California to buy a little old BMW. So the car I'm going to be buying is a 88 BMW 325. It's the E30 chassis for those who don't know. It's literally my favorite chassis. It was my first car and I've had multiple throughout the years. And I've been looking for one recently but couldn't find one until now. So I found this one for a good deal which is in Stockton which is about two hours away from me, two and a half hours away. So we're gonna be going over there and hopefully picking it up. So yeah, I'll catch you guys at the shop when I'm picking up the truck and trailer. All right guys, I just got to the yard, picking up the truck and trailer so we can head out and pick up the E30. What's up guys, I just wanted to give a huge shout out to the sponsor of today's video and that is Simply Carbon Fiber. So if you guys don't know what Simply Carbon Fiber is, it's all in their name. They make a bunch of awesome carbon fiber products such as these glasses that I'm wearing right here. These are honestly my favorite ones from their website, but they offer a variety of things besides glasses. They offer cool little accessories like keychains, phone cases, wallets, all kinds of cool stuff. I actually have a phone case by them, which is right here. I've been rocking it on my phone. The phone case is actually the forged carbon fiber one, as you can tell. You could either get it in the normal carbon fiber weave or this forged carbon fiber, but I think this forged one is my favorite thus far. But yeah, summer is coming up. You're definitely gonna need a new pair of glasses. Don't go with those unoriginal Ray-Bans that everyone wears. Go with something cooler like this got the carbon fiber weave on the side as you guys can tell so set yourself apart from other go to the link below down in the description use my code top 10 it'll save you 10 percent at checkout and just cop yourself some cool things so without further ado huge shout out to simply carbon fiber for sponsoring today's video now let's get back to the video well guys i'm on my way there and then the guy texts me saying for some reason he doesn't have the title to the car all of a sudden before he said he had the title i made sure to ask and now he's just being really fishy. So I'm not even going to bother with that car. I had driven like more than halfway already to get there. And I just pulled over and just started looking at like other cars on like Craigslist and stuff. And another car popped up, which is actually an E36 M3, a 95 M3, in what looks to be like a Daytona Violet or Techno Violet, like a purple color. So I'm actually gonna be going there to check that car out to see how that goes. If that works out, that'll be perfect because I've been looking for one of those as well. So we're on our way to Fairfield, California now, which is like another hour from Stockton. So yeah, I'm on my way there. I got like another hour and a half drive. I'll keep you guys posted once I get there. So hopefully, fingers crossed, everything goes well with this car and we don't have any issues with it. All right, guys, I'm actually pulling up right now to where the car is. Hopefully, I get this thing bought. Once I do, I'll get back to you guys. I don't want to record the guy and all that stuff and the whole transaction. So I'll get back to you guys once I get the deal done. I just bought the car. It took a while to load it up. I didn't even get any videos or anything of it. It's a Daytona Violet 95 E36 M3. This is going to be a project. It's definitely going to be a project. There's some things that are like taken apart, like door panels and all kinds of shit. So this is definitely going to be one big project. Uh, I'm probably not going to be working on this for a while. It's probably going to take a few months before I start working on it. It's like a perfect car to build on. So it's actually really dark outside and it's hard to see, but this is the car right here. 95 five speed manual daytona violet e36 m3 since it's hard to see i'll give you guys a better look in the daytime all right guys it's a little sunny out today but last night i made it back home tired as hell and here is the car right here it's really dirty because it's been sitting out for like a very very long time i think it's been sitting since 2007 because that's what all the paperwork and the guy even said i don't know how well you guys can tell the color of it but it's Daytona Violet. Kind of a lightish purple color. This thing needs a lot of work. Needs a lot of love. Let me go ahead and show you guys the interior. There's barely anything of it, but I'll still show you guys. Yep. This is the interior. The two front seats aren't even original. These are from an E46. Not an M3, just the regular E46. But yeah, there's like some stuff missing. Like all these parts that look like it's missing it's just in the back seat it's just thrown back there for right now i'm gonna go ahead and drop this thing off the trailer
one eternity later. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, we're back with another video. You guys heard the man. We are back. This is actually a continuation of obviously the old clips you guys just saw. It's actually been a few months since then. I think it's been like a year actually. But yeah, the E36 M3 is right behind me right here. And plans have changed for this car. So at first I was going to build this car. But then I decided to change my mind. And I ended up using like a bunch of parts off of this to build the green E36. So it basically became a parts car. Only because it's a salvage title and I really didn't want to put too much time and money into a salvage title E36. So I have different plans for it. As you can probably tell from the title and thumbnail of the video, we got a different build on the channel. So let me go ahead and show you guys that right now. So here is the new build to the channel guys. It is a BMW E30 chassis. I think it's a 89. Let's check it out real quick. Nope, it's a 1990 actually. So it's a 1990 BMW 325. I've actually owned a lot of E30s in my life. I've probably owned like six or seven of them at this point. And one of them I've built like extensively. I'll throw in a picture right here of it. But yeah, with this one, it's going to be a complete rebuild on the car so the entire car from like top to bottom i don't know if you guys remember we built my friend's e46 m3 put a lot of work into that car this is basically going to be that maybe even more to be honest so obviously the paint is all gone it's all faded needs a lot of work it's just been sitting here i'm sure you guys have seen it in the background of videos obviously because i haven't really tried to hide it or anything like that but it's just a little base model automatic e30 as you can tell it's just a damn automatic non-sport so it doesn't have sport seats and it's not the sport package it's not an is or anything like that but it's just a little coupe base model e30 that i picked up i was planning on actually flipping this car but ended up deciding to just build it completely instead the car actually runs but it needs a fuel pump which I really don't want to throw in there because I'm not even going to be using that engine. That engine is basically going to get sold if anyone wants to buy it or anything like that. But yeah, like I said, the entire car is going to get a complete rebuild. It's going to need a lot of body work as well. And I'm probably going to be changing the color of it. So you guys obviously will see that in a later video. Still haven't decided exactly what color, but we'll be changing the color. My most hated part of this car is this quarter panel right here. Check this out. This is not how you do body work, guys. That is... A pretty thick layer of bondo. I don't know if I'm going to be replacing that quarter panel or not. We'll see when the time comes. For now, this is just an introduction video. Yeah, other than that, it's actually a pretty decent example of a E30. Now, the engine that's going to be going into that car is actually from that Daytona E36 M3. The engine and transmission from this car are going to be going into that. See, this is one of the reasons why I don't want to build this car instead. But the transmission is sitting right there in the passenger seat. Obviously, that's where the transmission is supposed to sit naturally in vehicles. Like I said before, I've been using a bunch of random parts from this car onto the green E36 M3. But it is a 1995 M3 with an S50. And I'm probably going to end up throwing this with the transmission into the red E30 over there. Now, I don't even know if this engine runs or not. But either way, it's going to be a complete engine rebuild as well. So I'm not really tripping about that. I've actually done a few of these swaps already. So it's not really going to be a hard swap to do. But I just want a really clean example of an E30 with a reliable engine, which that's what it's going to be. So yeah, that's the plan for this E30 build. What do you guys think of the new build, guys? I think that's a great idea. And then in that one, you can put like an LS or something. See, see, that's a good idea. Yeah, use the engine for that one and turn that into a drift missile. Because the salvage title piece of shit, right? No, because Boy, you gotta get salvage, huh? What's up with salvage? All he hey, drives, is, salvage all he drives is salvage about. cars. No, everybody in salvage gang, you know what we're up. Nah, we don't, we don't, we don't mess with salvage cars, George. I mess with them. No, you, you're you gonna, don't, you don't worry, you're gonna turn the into the clean title gang. See, this is a clean title right here. That's a clean title. What's funny is this is worth more than that damn Daytona 836 M3. That's a clean title? Yeah, it's a clean it's title. So dirty. Why is it so dirty? I'll show you what's so dirty. Boys, 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 what do you think of the new build? The red E30 that's been parked in the garage. I got honey in my beard. Oh, comment down below. Uh-huh. If you eat your chicken with honey at KFC. Okay, car review Chris wants to know that, so comment down below. What do you think of the E30 build, Hotch? The the one that's been parked here, the old one, the one that's the been one? parked here. Oh, like, here we go, car review, Chris. Raz, we gotta get yours and Herach's review too. Herach always has the shortest, simplest reviews ever. The color's good. It's the color's good. It's a great car. You know you're colorblind. How do you even know what color it is, bro? They look good. Nice <laughs> color nice he's, he's colorblind, bro. All right, car review, Chris. What what do you think of that build? What kind of car is it again? It's an E36. 
E30 what? E30. Uh-huh. E30. It's a red E30, black seats, really mint condition. You got the very classic original wheels on it. The bottle cap, caps. Bottle cap bottle wheels. Caps. You got the striped leather seats, uh -huh. premium seats. Psst. This, like, this was the shit back then. The shit, right? Look at this. You were a like, baller if you had this back then, right? That's it, bro. You're straight up balling. Electric. He's got electric yeah. mirrors, bro, electric in 1990. Back in 1990s? Well, it's a 30 year old car now, 32 year old, year old car. car. That's crazy. Look at the steering wheel. Everything seems to work. That's nothing that could be fixed. <laughs> I got honey everywhere. <laughs> In the back end. It's a little slim from from what I'm used to. The you, li you like the slim. thick, you it's like the a, thick curves. It's a little curves. slim, you know. It could have been a little different. Yeah, you're, you're right. Could have been a little lower, maybe a little wider. A little on the wider, side. like an E30 M3, M3, right? M3, exactly. Maybe one day it'll maybe come to the channel. This whole brick thing they did, I don't know. You don't know about that? I like uh, it. I don't know. I feel like if it was just one piece, it would be really good. <laughs> <laughs> As he's putting honey on the chicken. <laughs> But yeah, overall review of the car. Overall, give it a number. If I were to give a number between one and twelve, I think it'd be twelve. <laughs> Why twelve? <laughs> Why twelve? Be definitely an eight. An eight? As of right now, yeah. Eight out of ten or twelve? Eight out of twelve. Eight out of twelve. So it's like a six out of ten. I'm trying to get your number higher up there, but you know I can't really place you out of ten. Yeah, well, not yet because it's in a shitty ass condition. Look, I'm Obvious. trying to sell your car, bro. I'm trying to sell your car. <laughs> <laughs> You're not helping me. <laughs> so the hood is placed this way for more... Aerodynamics. Yeah, there you go. Flow. See? It's a really big engine. High performance engine. You, you open it up. Let's see. Pop it. Oh, it opens up the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yep. This it's a... The, it's, this is it. This is the engine here. Yep. <laughs> it's an engine. <laughs> and it works. And drives. Maybe. Here and there. Raz, what do you think about this hunk of shit? You just explained everything. I don't. It was good, boys. <laughs> Sturdy. You heard. You heard the boys. Hadash loves the color of it, even though he's colorblind and can't really. Can't. So, what color is it? It's a. Uh, is it a blue? Yeah, it's blue. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Todd, we should do like a pin my ride, bro. Hold on, we got it. Like Pay my ride. I'm gonna put a cotton candy machine in the back in the trunk. And then when you're tired of people, you put their head right here. Watch, put your head right there. Put your head down. Push it down then. Put your head down, bro, and then you just close the hood on them. Why you gotta do it to me, hey? George, get your ass over here. <laughs> George, get your ass over here. <laughs> put your head in there. We're not gonna hit you. Don't worry. For example, you, you want to get this part right here. Yeah. This <laughs> part. <laughs> exactly, line it up and yeet. But yeah, guys, As that... Tell, the video is over and we are back to basic <laughs> We are back to nothing. But yeah, guys, that's going to bring us to the end of this... We all get 2022 expose of people. <laughs> <laughs> I know where you can put that. Huh? Shit. Man, cut it out. Cut the shit out. Man, we, we gotta, gotta, we gotta to end this video right now. That we gotta end this video. We gotta get back to this car stuff to get a new video up for you next time. This is some hard shit we're doing. Uh, a lot of work goes into these follow, videos. Follow, like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell notification button for more, more of these videos. Peace. Oh, and then comment down below if you like the honey stuff. And if you haven't tried it, don't comment. <laughs> comment down below if you want to see this build at all. And if you want to see this build, reviews. yeah, that will be nice. Comment down below if I should make my own YouTube channel. Yeah, <laughs> yeah car review Chris Chris shit. Podcast. Podcast. Slash podcast. Podcast coming soon. Slash podcast. He knows nothing about cars. <laughs> he knows nothing about cars. He's just going to talk about random You're shit. You're going to hear of the story where I start learning about cars. The whole process of how to learn about cars. When was that? What have you learned? <laughs> what have you learned? This is an E30 from 1990s. Damn. Is... That's more than you. Damn. What's up? What do you that know about what, 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 what were the wheels? What do you know about this car, bro? What shit. were the wheels? I know it's red. Can you see color? Yeah, I can. What color is it? Red. And he's so the... sure? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <that's right. laughs> All right, guys. Enough shenanigans. <laughs> that's going to bring us to the end of this video. Without further ado, take care. Brush your hair. Peace. <laughs> <laughs>